Retro-style Metroidvania games are something I've played quite a bit of, and I just got done playing another one called Super Skelomania. But is this one a cool cranium crunching caper, or does this bony adventure bomb? Super Skelomania is a short, retro-inspired Metroidvania game where you're playing as a skeleton going through a labyrinth, activating gongs at certain locations within the various labyrinths. You'll find maps to help guide you and a variety of moves that help make the adventure better and also allow you to get into areas you wouldn't be able to get through on your first pass by. The main character uses his skull to bash enemies, and you can actually attack in multiple directions, and it's pretty satisfying to do so. I wish combat was a bit more fleshed out. Enemies don't drop anything, you don't gain experience or anything from them, so honestly most enemies I just ended up running by or passing by as quick as possible. Only when the boss encounters happened, the few that there are in the game, did I really get to use the combat, and those were at least satisfying. As you progress through the labyrinth, you're going to find various moves that help you progress farther into different areas, such as a backflip to jump higher, a dive so that when you're at your peak of your jump, you can dash forward to barely land on certain platforms. You get a move where you're able to roll your skull to get through small areas, and unfortunately during this, you actually have to jump using the skull because you don't come out of it until you hit a wall. So a lot of times you'll have to jump between platforms using just the skull, which is a bit tricky. There's also a move that allows you to just run, breaking blocks while you're doing so and doing a shoulder tackle. When you use that run move combined with the backflip or the dive, you can get a lot of speed in this game. Controls are actually a bit touchy because of this. I found myself using the dive when I didn't want to, or ladders in particular act it weird. If you hit like the backflip and such on the ladder, you shoot up at an incredible speed, which just seemed like wasn't supposed to happen. Because of the way the character acts depending upon what jump you're doing and the dive sometimes negating landing properly on platforms, it made just what should have been simple platforming a bit more touchy and spotty than it needed to be. The game is really short and has an emphasis on speedrunning. It took me about 75 minutes to beat it my first time through. There's trophies though for beating it in under 60 minutes, 40 minutes, and even 17 minutes. Other than a bit of spottiness with the controls, there were no problems as far as glitching or crashing of any sort. Super Skelomania is available now on the PlayStation 4 for $4.99, and it does feature a Platinum Trophy. The game is also available on Nintendo Switch and PC. Overall, for a short, cheap Metroidvania, Super Skelomania isn't too bad. The emphasis on like the speedrunning with the controls will end up enticing, I'm sure, a few, but for many it just will end up being a mediocre short Metroidvania game that even at its price may not be worth it for the short experience that you get. With everything said, I'm going to be giving Super Skelomania a 6 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though, I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.